Has anybody read the book Longitude or seen the film? Yeah. 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 So you know all about the struggle to create a timepiece that would work on a rolling ship. Yeah, see. The reason it was so important was because he had to know what the time was at Greenwich in order to calculate the longitude. And without that vital bit of information, they were all at sea. And the reason that the Admiralty put up a huge prize for the man who would eventually discover how to make a clock that would work on the rolling ship, uh, which was won by a guy called Harrison later on, was because of a terrible disaster that took place in the Isles of Scilly in 1707. The Admiral who was wrecked there was Cloudsley Shovel, great name for an Admiral, uh, even better name for a mole. <laughs> Um, yeah, Clancy Shovel, he was a very successful and popular admiral in his day, sort of the kind of Nelson of the time. And he was coming back from a victorious campaign against the Spanish at Gibraltar. And they were approaching the English Channel, and there was a storm coming up. And it was a pretty thick black night. And of course they knew which way they were that way. They could calculate the latitude, but they didn't know how close they were to the coast. And it so happened that on the Admiral's ship, the Association, there was a young lad from the Isles of Scilly, a Salonian from St. Agnes. And all of a sudden he smelt a very familiar, pungent smell in spite of the storm in the darkness. And it was the smell of the kelp fires burning on the, on the, on the islands. Um, I've got a whole album about that, the kelping it's called. <laughs> I want to know more about it. And he realised they were terribly close to land. And in his panic, he rushed up onto the poop deck where the Admiral was standing, holding onto the rail in the storm, and he grabbed him by the coat and tugged him. Sire, sire, we're standing into danger. I can smell the kelp fires on St Agnes. We must turn back at once. Now, this was tantamount to mutiny. Complete breach of protocol. And the Admiral uh, couldn't possibly uh, allow himself to be touched by a rating. So he had him hanged on the spot. And as he dropped from the yard arm, he cursed the Admiral to wreck. And sure enough, within a few hours, the entire fleet had been driven on um, the Bishop Rock and the Tearing Ledges, which is a pretty apt name, actually, for those rocks around the Bishop, where the Bishop Lighthouse is now. They lost four ships um, and uh, colossal, colossal deaths. Um, and that was all in this, in this background of the story. But uh, the, story, the song's not specifically about that. It's about what happened to the Admiral after he died. The song is called Flotsam and Jetsam, and I would like you to join in, please, with the chorus. It's very easy. Flotsam and Jetsam, wreckage from the sea. Flotsam and Jetsam, it all returns to me. And I sometimes have to think what the next verse is. So if I don't sing and you think I should be, you just do it any old how, okay? <laughs> I'll, I'll catch up when I'm good and ready. <laughs> Western man can go stand on Cornish soil. That's where my flock their crops do sow, and on the billows toil. The climate mild, the cattle fair, our harvest tables blessed. The good Lord gives redemption, and the sea provides.
forget the fateful night Such tragedy befell Sir Cloudsley and the English fleet Mistaken in a gale The storm so wild, the night so dark We never heard their guns As masks to match wood sails to shreds Upon the rocks they belong Tragic waste. Britannia lost four ships that night. The rest, such peril faced. Eighteen hundred bodies strewn on every ledge and bay, and on Saint Mary's roaring shore, drowned the clouds lay. came from every side, even to the manse did bring, but who on Mary's sainted isle would stoop to such a thing? They said who'd found his body first, had hacked from off his hand a diamond and emerald ring. A grief too hard to bear A second husband lost at sea And both sons drowned there A fortune she would give, she said To see that ring again But no man stood to own the deed And we hung our heads in shame Islands fifty years, my hair and beard are grey. They called me to a cottage there, the last rites to say. Old woman on a lonely bed, she draws me down to here, and in her bony yellow hand, a ring. Whispered words can England e'er forgive? She said he came alive to shore, lay gasping on the sand. She held his head beneath the waves for the jewels on his right hand. It all returns, it all returns.
Zeit sein.